Hi everyone, my name is Allison. Welcome to the Tiny Herd or welcome back. We make new pet videos every Friday and you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So today we're going to be opening up this bo big giant box here which is some things I got for the new guinea pig boy CNC cage. So I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out and then show you what I've got. So here's everything I got. I just wanted to talk about Guinea Pig Cages Store a little bit really quick. So that is the website. It's guineapigcagesstore.com and it's a really great resource for parts for CNC cages, um, cage size requirements for piggies, all that good stuff. They have ramps, specialty grids, plexiglass window pieces that fit into the grid connectors. They have all kinds of stuff. So. I will show you guys what I got and then I will show you how I set this stuff up on the cage. Alright, so here are all the things that I got. First, I just have this big long, it's not going to fit in the camera, but it's a big long two grids across length support bar that I'm going to use to put under their loft to help hold their loft up. Then I just have this grid that has this cutout on it, which I'm going to use to put um, where their ramp goes so that there's some coverage of that space and they just have the doorway where they can go up the ramp and get into the loft. Then I have the ramp, which again won't fit in the camera but has the nice carpet on it. So I wanted to get them an actual ramp instead of using the kind of flimsy one that I have. So I'll just, it has the flap on the top to attach it and I will just fold the sides up and it will be good to go. And then finally I have this which is a French door kit which goes on the side of the cage or I guess the front of the cage if you're looking straight at the cage. So I'm going to put this on the front of the cage, the two grids right below their 2x2 two two loft facing where I normally stand to clean them. So it won't be on the end of the cage where it's like the two by five, it'll be on the five part, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff out and then show you how I set it up on the cage. Alright, so you can hear the boys talking, but I have, what? look at you, what are you doing, you're not getting another treat, no, you're not getting another treat buddy, you're not getting another one, okay, anyways, so I put the new grid on, which I really like, and then we have the new ramp, which gives them so much more floor space. Really like that too. They haven't gone up it yet, but they're still not quite sure on ramps in general. And then I haven't put the support bar. Freddy, hello. <laughs> they're so talkative. I haven't put the support bar up underneath here to support the loft yet because we need to get plywood to put under the cage because this part is not super supported. But I have put the door on so you can see when I take this bungee cord off, I can open the doors. And like I said, this side needs supported so this door doesn't sit super level yet. 
but it's not too bad. It'll work until we get some plywood. So basically what you do to put the French door kit on is you take your two grids out from underneath the loft and make sure all of this under here and the sides are cable tied supported. And then you put these little quarter round panels in and you zip tie them to the top and the side and then put them in the connector up here. So that's what I did on both sides. And then you take these little plastic hinges and one part pops onto the quarter round bar part and then the other side hooks onto your grid. So I did that on the top and the bottom here and then cable tied it at the top and the bottom as well. And the kit comes with the two of these quarter rounds, four of these hinges, and then it has a whole bunch of cable ties in there. And then it also has an optional kit that makes you able to slide, like you have to cut the sides of your core plast and it'll make it able to fold down and Velcro back up, I believe. Something to that effect that I just decided I didn't want to do because I really just needed to access this. I don't put bedding in my cage, so that's not really an issue for me to need to slide anything out of my core plast. So, it did come with that and I can show you what else was in there. It also came with a really good color picture instruction sheet. So, once I put these hinges on with the cable ties that's pretty much all there is to it then the door swings open and shut and it just sits in the it doesn't go into the connector it just sits in the little corner that is made there so i have both of the doors on it just sits and like i said this one's a little wonky it's just because this needs to be supported a bit so both of them sit down in here and then it comes with this little bungee cord that I just stretch across and hook and it holds oh sorry buddy it holds the door shut as long as you don't pull them straight from the bottom like I just did but not really worried about the boys trying to push their way out of here really um they stand up on the coroplast, but they don't really push on the grids or anything. I'm not worried about the boys pulling it open. It'll be fine. So, yeah. There's the door, so that'll make it a lot easier to get back under there for spot cleaning and cleaning their cage and arranging their beds and things. So, that's really nice. So, I really like how their cage looks. I haven't had a CNC cage for a while, so... And I haven't got anything from guinea pig cages store before, so I'm really excited to have these things, especially this ramp. This ramp is so sturdy, you can see it, like I'm pulling pretty hard on this side and it's not coming down. And then it is, um, you saw me stick the adhesive part to the bottom of the core plast of the top. And I'm glad I got that grid because I cut the core plast a little bit wider for my first ramp I had. but. This doorway is cut perfectly for this ramp. So, this worked out really well. They have a lot more floor space now, so we will see what they think of it. All right, I just wanna put in this quick little bit about the rest of the stuff I didn't use. So, well, I did use this. Here are the, here's the instructions. They're really good, clear, and then even how to do the pull down of the core blast, like I said. And then here is the rest of the stuff that came in the French door kit to make your core plast able to fold down and all of that good stuff. And then I have some cable ties left that I didn't use. So it was a really good kit. It came with a lot for the price. Like it was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much everything cost, but I think my total order was like 50 bucks and I got the ramp, the French door kit, and the support bar and the grid. Okay, so it was probably more than 50 bucks, but it was pretty cheap considering how high quality everything was and what shipping was because it came in that big box. So I think overall it was a pretty good deal and I really like how the cage came out. So I think it was a good buy. All right, well, that was my guinea pig cages store.com haul, little mini haul. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.